Hello there and welcome back to the FTB Infinity Light server with me, Trinionis. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're good and well. Um, me, myself, and I uh, don't particularly feel that great today. Uh, it's because I overslept, because I don't know why. Because um, normally I'm up between 8 and 9 a.m. in the morning. Uh, today, uh, it was about quarter to 11. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, tossed and turned, couldn't get comfortable. Uh, kept waking up during the night. Again, I don't know why. Uh, so for that reason, and that reason alone, because uh, it's 20 past 11 now, uh, this video will be another short one, I'm afraid. Um, I'm hoping next week, though, to try and make it up uh, for the last couple of videos that have been a little bit on the short side uh, and try and do a fairly decent fast build episode on the Atlantis base and try and get a lot of that done as much as possible uh, but before I show you what I have done uh, since the last episode I want to show you a little bit of a recording clip uh, that happened earlier in the week when I logged in uh, something went rather wrong Elytra wings kind of messed up, messed me up a bit. I don't know why it were doing that. I think it was a bit of server lag or something on those sort of lines. I'm not sure, but you can see that I was in permanent flight mode with the Elytra. So, yeah, kind of fun and interesting. Anyway, <laughs> uh, hopefully you enjoyed that and uh, giggled about it and laughed about it like myself. Uh, but, yeah, since the last episode, uh, I tore down the two uh, boiler plants and uh, I took everyone's comments on boards Brad's, White Tigers and everyone's uh, because Brad suggested to actually uh, make this smaller uh, which to try and compensate for the flow rate which was a brilliant idea I like that I like that but uh, I decided to go uh, with the Tiger's route, no, like I said, there's nothing wrong with what Brad said. I love Brad, he absolutely does me proud with his comments and his help, so I really appreciate it. Uh, but the Tiger said try to make a extreme reactor, and I thought about it, and I thought, yeah, why not? Why not do it and try it out? So, because it's not like I haven't got enough resources with this thing. Uh, so this is what I made, just a 5x5x5 five by five by five reactor. As you can see, it's also got five fuel rods in there as well. You can see here you've got the reactor cool rods, uh, control rods even for every... Uh, excuse me one second. <coughs> Sorry, my throat was clogging up there. Um, five control rods to control the rods themselves, so every one needs one of them. And I've also filled it in with gold blocks uh, to help keep it cool. Now, I think diamond blocks are better than gold. I think it goes something like graphite, uh, gold, diamond, and then uh, one of the tinker metals. I can't pronounce it. Don't ask me to pronounce it. Uh, oh, let's see if I can actually find it. Uh, 
it's the one where you mix cobalt and ardite together to make the the man manulum. I, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> so I thought I'd show you and you know exactly what I mean. Uh, so that's the best thing you can use to actually cool down uh, these reactors. So yeah, uh, but this one isn't a, a reactor to make power. This one is the one to make steam. And all you have to do to alter them to do that is add uh, these uh, coolant ports. And that's all you do with them. Uh, I believe what they're planning on doing with these is that if you add a cooling port, this is where you would actually put your cooling liquid instead of having to fill it up by hand, uh, which is a kind of a cool thing. Uh, but I could be wrong on that. There's a, a lot of speculation about what's going to happen with uh, the extreme reactors addition to what it was in the past. Uh, so yeah, this uh, makes steam here. So we've got it filled with water at the moment. Uh, it's off now. It did have it on before. And then I will show you what we can make. So I should have some yellow right in here because I made that chest specifically to hold uh, yellow right. I have no idea where that's fluctuating. Uh, let's do that. No, still messing about. Okay. I have to sort a proper sorting system out. It's no good. It really is no good doing this. That's fine. Yeah, okay, so all the yellow that I've currently got is in here. Uh, so we'll grab one, two, three, four, five stacks of. Unfortunately, you can't triple these ores, you can only double them, so I'm going to stick them directly into there. And hopefully, if I have the L2 eject on, they will get cooked up fairly quickly. I don't think I've got any Eulorium left, because I did use uh, quite a few stacks to get that working and to see how much power it would use up. So I'm just going to wait for a stack here for this to to make. Uh, all the parts of the boiling system is in here and I think Tiger's been at it again leaving me presents but this time he left him in here like I did as if I wouldn't notice, notice them again. Uh, talking of Tiger he did leave me another present. <laughs> mining portal world. Oh mining world portal not that you need it now exactly. Uh, and another dislocator. I believe that is to his base though there's no notes i don't know if i need to use that in the mining dimension to get there or not because uh, i don't want to pay tiger's base a visit and i will probably record that because i want to see what he's been up to because it's been ages since i've been over there okay, anyway there's a stack just to give you an idea how much power this is producing uh, i've also got an in and output so this is my input for my eulonium and my output for my blue cyanide because i'm thinking that uh in when I've got enough of this stuff, which I probably have now, uh, that I'm going to start making the actual turbines from big reactors and see if they're any better than uh, the mechanism ones, which they may be, I don't know. But I do need some of this blue toning, which as you can see is a chest shaped cyanide thing. So this thing needs for the turbine controller. Uh, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I'm good, aren't I? Uh, we don't need nuclear fuel, not in industrial craft. Uh, plutonium blocks. So, like I said, I do need a little bit of that for some of the recipes. Yeah, not much, but it is enough. <laughs> right, so, I want to stick a stack of eulorium in there. That gets that powered up. And as you can see, everything heats up nicely. Uh, steam is good, water is stable-ish, but it's still getting there. See, there's the, all the water gone, and then it suddenly decides, right, I'm going to start working now. <laughs> there we go. That looks better. Uh, so the casing heat and the core heat. The core heat is what's inside the machine, which is what you need all those gold blocks for. The casing heat is what's outside. 
Uh, luckily you can still jump on these without getting hurt, which I think is a bit wrong, but considering it's... Oh, are we going to do it again? No, okay, it just decided to be a bit funny. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't think it's too bad, uh, though this is my first extreme reactor since the changeover. So yeah, you'll have to tell me if I can do better. Obviously I probably could if I added diamonds in there, I don't know. Uh, so the fluid output is currently uh, 2,000, between 2,000 and 2,300 millibuckets per tick. Uh, the fuel burn up rate is 0 0.93 millibuckets per tick, which I don't think is too bad. And the fuel uh, reactivity, uh, how heavily radiated the core is, higher levels of radiation reduce fuel burn up. So uh, the higher that is, the better. I'm guessing. Uh, so yeah, fuel and whatnot. There you go. High fuel rods, maximum capacity, uh, waste and total. So yeah, no problems there. I don't think. But as you can see, my water output cannot keep up. So if I could keep up the water power, then this thing would actually produce more. Uh, steam wise, as you can see, the steam is going into my pump. But I've also upgraded these pipes from the elite which are these uh, to the ultimate ones uh, mech there we go so the uh, where are they there we are is that the right one uh, them there we are uh, the elite mechanical pipe Pump rate is 1,600 millibuckets per tick, and the ultimate one is 6,400 uh, millibuckets per tick. So yeah, it's a bit of a difference. So these guys can hold more steam than what is actually being pumped in. But there's no point upgrading these pipes because these only can pump out so much anyway. Uh, but as you can see, all of these and even four more that I've added on are completely empty. I do need to upgrade these last four here with speed and energy upgrades, but I'll get around to that at a later date. Um, so yeah, that's working out nicely. Now the turbine reactor itself, as you can see, this thing is already full. This was empty before we started. I don't know if you noticed that. So if I click on it, you will see now that I am producing roughly 32 thousand actually no that's kilojoules that's the there we are um let's have a look that's there we are uh, that's easier to understand just under thirteen thousand uh rf per tick so not too bad at all really considering and as you can see that jumped up also had a bit of power in it from last time as well Actually, no, that would have been depleted as well, yeah. No, that's no, right, that would have been depleted. Um, as you can see, this thing is working uh, fairly well now. So like I say, I just need to get more water into the uh, extreme reactor there. And then this thing will have produced even more. Because if you remember, this thing should be able to produce 5.85 million RF per tick. But at this rate... I am happy. This is more than enough to power this, this, uh, the uh, water pumps, and everything else. It's just a matter of feeding it the eulorium. That's all it is at this moment in time. Uh, so, I don't know why you're not feeding out because there is room in places you to go like I said that's the main thing I need to sort out as well a better storage system for this because what I'm thinking about doing is uh, this little lorium chest is here so if I take this here and then I can have a uh, enrichment chamber and a smelter right in front of this here and then that can go in and directly in there and it can automatically get fed um, the only thing I would like to do, but I'm not very good with redstone or anything on those sorts of lines, is to tell that to shut off when this is like 50% full or something like that, 70% full. 
but I'm not sure if I can do that. Obviously, if you know, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I'm going to end this episode here, so if you've got any other hints, tips, suggestions, ideas, or just want to say hi, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy today's video, uh, please remember to hit that like button. And like I say, I do apologise for this being another short episode, but it's with a rendering and uploading and everything as well. So uh, once again, thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.